Hey guys, this is Peter, and today we want to talk about cloners. That's HDMI cloners or video cloners. So um, let me jump right into it. You know, a couple of weeks ago I talked about this. It's a media center, and I talked about being able to get more content for your media center in high quality, and well, this will help with that. We also talked about taking your DVD uh, collection and moving it over. Well, these cloners are actually can run headless, which means without a PC, and capture the same kind of thing. It does capture in 1080p, but it can accept a 4K input, which is UHD. So that's pretty cool. You can actually take your devices and make copies of them, which is great. So um, you can record live TV. That's great because I get live TV over my TV tuner. But if I want to capture it, this is going to help. I can also record live streams. And for a lot of us that are sheltering in place and a lot of kids that are in school, that means capturing your class meetings. You can cap capture that. It does have an encoder built in. It does do MP4 in H.264. Uh, so uh, just standard. MP It'll play back on anything from your iPad to etc. It will capture on USB, it will capture on micro SD, it will capture on your PC, PC only, not Mac. But uh, it is headless, so of course you could always get it over there. It will work with Macs because it is headless. But the software that comes with it that allows you to live stream, if you're a gamer and you want to be able to live stream, you've always wanted to be able to do that, but maybe you weren't looking at uh, uh, for fording the Elgato. This is kind of cool in the fact that it is headless and it can still do all the recording. It records meetings. So a lot of us are doing meetings uh, and you know you can ask the organizer, could you please record the meeting? Could you send it to me afterwards? And they're like, oh, I never got a copy of it or oh, I'll send it to you. No, record it yourself. Say, hey everybody, I'm recording it and I'll send it to you if you want. Uh, I do believe in fully disclosing that you're recording a meeting, but uh, I guess you don't have to. I don't think I would do it for class meetings. They expect you to do that. For games, record games with your buddies, and that way you can have kind of a brag film fest, and you just hit them up with the videos, post them online. Of uh, you, you of course not you dying, just you doing uh, the rampage thing. Um, product demos. If you're a YouTuber, this kind of thing is a must. A lot of times there'll be uh, HDCP, which is uh, HDMI copy protection, and uh, this doesn't have any problems with that. So it'll go through and allow you to record all the menuing systems that you need to use as a YouTuber. Now, I'm not saying that you should record things that you shouldn't record, but this it acts as a possum in the middle, kind of like a man in the middle, but this one lies down. <laughs> now, uh, it is pretty cool. In the past, I've used this to capture video. It's a little HDMI box. It's that in the middle and you push a button. There it is. No, wait, there it is. And it worked pretty good. So uh, this, there are two different versions of this. There is a, a basic version, which they call Evolve. And for a little bit more, you can get their pro version. So here's the main difference. They have all both live stream, which is cool. They both have two HDMI inputs that are both 4K. Again, it only records in 1080, but they both record in 1080. So uh, the real difference is the other input, and that is the AV input. This is composite and it's pretty good, but if you really have a DVD collection, like my parents have a fully invested Disney collection, and hey, we'd like to make that digital and move it along to uh, the grandkids, etc. Well, uh, there, the Pro version has a different series of ports. Plugs in through an HDMI, but look at this little cluster. We have the full composite set uh, or component set as well as a PC input. So you can grab all sorts of different uh, inputs. And uh, well, I have a video system that has this as an output. That'd be good to make some recordings with. Uh, you can record all sorts of things with this and live streaming is a must. Uh, I know a lot of people want to be able to live stream. You can plug it into your PC, PC, and use it to live stream. So if you wanted to get into that, it's definitely something you can do. It will defeat HD copy protection. Now, people say, isn't defeating copy protection is, is illegal? It's like, no. Well, copying may be illegal in your area. It depends on what you copy. So you just got to use it sparingly. It reminds me of my neighbor who painted his curb red because he didn't want anybody parking in front of his house. Now, uh, is it against the law to park in front of his house? No, it's not. But is he going to be mad? Eh, probably. <laughs> but uh, 
Uh, anyway, it, there are some legitimate uses for defeating copy protection. I think taking your VHS investment and converting it over to digital is one of those uses. I think you're allowed, at least in my understanding of the laws where I live, you're allowed to make a copy for your own personal use. I want to take all those Disney movies and put them on my, on my hard drive. I want to make them look good, as good as possible, so the pro version makes more sense. I think for the small amount of uh, money, I think it's uh, negligible almost. It's under it's under ten bucks, uh, or it's right around ten bucks. Definitely the pro version. It feels a little more solid. It does allow you to uh, hit playback on the remote. Uh, their video sources are separate, so whether you want to do the uh, component composite or VGA or HDMI, you just hit the button. I do like the shape of this remote a little bit more, but this one, this is the Evolve remote. This one was conflicting with my TV a little bit. Nothing big. I just moved it out of the way. Not a big deal. This one has no uh, such limitations. They both allow scheduling, which means if you want to watch that cricket game that's being live streamed, you can actually set it up to do that. So, of course, you'd have to... Uh, leave your stuff on, but you could set it up to record at a certain time. My wife is from France. She likes to watch uh, French news, and we do have a French live stream that we pay for, but the good stuff is on in the middle of the night. We can set it up to record. Now, if you hook it up to your PC, you can set it up via their software. Again, PC, not Mac. You can set it up via software to do more than one scheduled recording. Of course, as a headless or standalone unit, you can get it to do any anything. But uh, if you want it to record multiple things, well, then you want to hook it up to the PC. The PC can also act as, as I understand it, haven't tried this yet, as your storage device. And that's kind of cool because it kind of gives you more storage. So far, I've been using it headless. I've been pretty happy with it. It'll definitely be part of my toolbox, and I'd recommend that you get one. Am I going to leave it in, uh, in line all the time? I got to go with no on that one. It does, uh, when it senses DHCP, it actually goes black screen like everything else, and you have to go actually go up to the unit itself and hold a button for 10 seconds, and then it'll come back on. Well, guys, there you go. I did really enjoy working with both of these boxes. In fact, it was the Evolve that I brought over to my parents' house and was able to capture their, well, their heavily controlled HDCP uh, cable box. And so, uh, if you look at other people doing videos on that, they were actually filming with their cameras, and I didn't want to do that same thing because it looks so crummy. But you can capture just about anything. Make sure to use it appropriately and stay safe, everyone. I actually do like this one slightly better. I think it's worth the $16 increment. Um, it is a pretty solid device, and it works just like you want it to. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, see you in the next one. Talk to you soon.